sort yourself out, Natasha. You belong in Springfield Insane Asylum, your thoughts. If people knew what was going on in my head, they, they would put me in an insane asylum. I have been in an insane asylum twice, actually. Twice, yeah. Once when I was pregnant as well. I, th I thought I was like Jack Nicholson and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. The food was good, but I shouldn't have been in there. I really shouldn't have. But what was the food? Cornish pasties. <laughs> I love pastries. What kind of you know, led you there? The same thing. It was still this, this addiction stuff. They didn't know if I had bipolar or if I was self-medicating. So, so yeah, it's all, it's, it's, it's just a cycle. And they've got this like cycle of, um, I can't remember what it's called. The cycle of something, but you've got the pre-contemplation, then you've got the comp contemplation, and then you've got the maintenance. So like I'm in the maintenance at the moment. And if you come off the maintenance by relapsing in again, then you go back to the pre-contemplation. So it's, I think it's called the cycle of, addiction or something like that. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, because I'm, they're seeing it, me as managing, so I'm in the maintenance and that's where I want to stay. I want to stay maintaining this good life that I've got because um, I wouldn't be driving around in the car. I mean, I want a range. I haven't got one, but I would like one. Can't afford one. But um, yeah, I wouldn't have all the stuff I had now if it wasn't for me fully subscribing to this, this recovery program, which I know I keep going back to, but it's definitely saved my life and given me a new one. Can I ask what, what it's like inside a, you know, an asylum? Ah, it's all right. It's just full of docile people getting on your nerves. I just felt like, I swear I felt like I'm the most sane person in there. Oh, right. I really thought like, what the hell? Like, I just woke up in there. I just thought I must have been doing some crazy stuff for them to think this was where I needed to be. I mean, I was only in there for a little while. But, um, but yeah, just that, and even... You had to like see psychiatrists and do drink diaries and like, oh, how much are you drinking? I say, I'm only drinking one glass, but they didn't realise how big that glass was. 